This is Dr. Holt. Uh, I want to go over how to solve uh, tension problems. Uh, these problems come up often in like a statics course or maybe a physics course. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to solve one problem here, which I think will you can build from this and be able to solve most static problems like this. All right, I'm going to take this example here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to find out what the tension is in AB, what the tension is in AC, and what the tension is in AD. I have three cables here. All right, the first thing you want to do with a problem like this, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and slide this up a little bit, is you've got to find out what the force is with the 30 kilonewtons. Now, the 30 kilonewtons is a mass, okay? You have to multiply it by the uh, acceleration of gravity, which is 9.8, to find out what the force is. If I take 30 and I multiply it by 9.8, I will get 294 newtons. All right, so immediately I know this. I know the force or the tension in AD must equal 294 newtons. So the tension right here in this cable here would have to equal 294 newtons. All right. Now, to solve this problem is you're going to have to find out what this angle is. We'll call this angle here be theta 2, and we're going to call this angle here theta 1. Those angles you're going to have to find out before you can continue with this problem. All right, we'll, try, we'll do theta 1 first. All right, we know that our rise here is 300, our run here is 400. So we'll, we'll do the tangent. So we know the tangent of theta 1 is equal to 300 over 400. We will go ahead and take the inverse tangent of that because we know that theta 1 is going to equal the inverse tangent of 300 divided by 400. In this case, theta 1 is going to equal uh, 36.87 degrees. And again, please make sure your calculator is set for degrees and not set for radians or you're not going to get this right. All right. Um, we'll come over to this side. We want to find out theta 2. Again, our rise here is going to be 300 based upon this side. So we know the tangent of theta 2 is going to equal the 300 divided by 500. I will take the inverse tangent of 300 divided by 500 to determine what my angle of theta 2 is. When I do that, I will get theta 2 is going to be 30.96 degrees. Okay. So that information, that's critical. You have to do that first. You need to find out what the angles are. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and sum the forces. I'm going to keep on sliding this up so we'll have some room. Uh, we're, going to we're going to first is we're going to sum the forces in the x direction first. So if I sum the forces in the x direction, they have to equal 0. And when I sum the forces in the y direction, they're going to have to equal 0. So we're going to sum the forces in the x direction. To do that, okay, th the x component of the the x component of AB has got to be um, a negative because the it's I'll slide this down so you can see it but the x component of this one's going to have to be negative the x component of this will be positive and the y component of this will be positive and the y component of this will be positive so based on that we're going to finish this equation up so I can say that the negative FAB times a cosine of 36.87 plus FAC times a cosine of 30.96 must equal zero. All right, so there, there's our summation in the x direction. And again, we have to set those equal to zero because we're dealing with something that's static. It's not moving. So now we'll go ahead and do our um, sum our forces in the y direction first, or next. So if I sum my forces in the y direction, I'm going to set that equal to zero. And my forces are going to be this. I'm going to have the minus 294 newtons, the negative 294 newtons going down. And then I'm going to add it to FAB times the sine of 36.87 plus FAC times the sine of 30.96. And that makes it equal zero. All right, so there's our two forces. All right. We're going to go ahead and solve this one here. So what we end up having is we have two equations and we have two unknowns. So we know we can solve the problem. All right, I'm going to drop, I'm going to bring this on down and so solve it right here so you can watch me solving this. And I'll slide this up just a little bit so you got a little bit more space. All right, 
I'm going to go ahead and go work those trig values. If I take the cosine of 36.87, I think you're going to get find out it's, that's neg is 0.8. So I'm going to write that as negative 0.80 FAB plus the cosine of 30.96 is 0.857 FAC is equal to zero. All right. Uh, again, and what you're going to do is you're going to move this to the other side and then divide both sides by 0.857. Um, I'll go ahead and write that for the heck of it. That's going to be negative 0.80 FAB is equal to negative 0.857 FAC. Divide both sides by negative 0.857. Negative 0.857 negative. And when I do that, what I'm going to find out, these will cancel out. And I'm going to find out that F A B is going to equal to 1.07 F A C. All right. Now the other thing you could you could solve this with the, setting up a matrices uh, with your calculator. That's one way to solve it. All right. Now I'm going to work with this force, but I'm going to go ahead and, and, and do my trig values, and I'll show you what to do. So I'm going to take negative 294. I'm going to take the cosine, I'm sorry, take the sine of 36.87, that's going to give me 0 0.6. So that's going to give me 0 0.60 FAB. And then I'm going to add that to the sine of 30.96, which is 0.514 FAC. And we're going to set that equal to zero. All right, now. To solve this equation here, I know this value here. I know FAB is equal to 1.07 FAC, so I need to substitute this in. So I'll rewrite the problem as this, minus 294 plus 0.60, and then instead of using FAB, I'm going to use 1.07 FAC plus 0.514 FAC is equal to 0. I have one equation one unknown. I know I can solve this problem right now. So we'll go ahead and, and simplify that. When we add all this together, you're going to get minus 294 plus 1.156 FAC is equal to zero. And if you go ahead and solve that, you're going to find out very quickly that FAC is equal to 254.3 newtons. All right, so we're able to solve FAC. All I have to do now is jump back up to this equation, and I know FAB is equal to 1.07 FAC. If I do that multiplication, I will find out that FAB is equal to 272.1 newtons. Okay, again, this is how you solve these problems. Um, what you want to get is two equations. And typically, you're going to have two unknowns when you're dealing with these tension problems. Solve one of them in terms of the other, substitute it back into the second equation, and then solve that value. And then you can, and then you know the ratio between the two. You can do the multiplication and find out what the other one is equal to. All right, best of luck with these problems.